Fans of the rebuilding Chicago White Sox are excited. The organization is stocked with young talent, but one future star stands above the others, literally and figuratively. He's six foot five, ranked by Baseball America and MLB.com as the number three prospect in all of baseball, and he has been toying with minor league pitchers. He's the crown jewel of the White Sox rebuilding process. His name, Aloy Jimenez. Baseball wasn't Aloy's first love. Growing up in the Dominican Republic, Aloy wanted to be a basketball player like his dad, Luis. Father knew best, though. Uh, my dad is starting to tell me, uh, why are we not try another sport? And I say, okay. After I started to play baseball, and uh, I remember my first at bat, he by pitching my head, and I say, I'm not gonna play baseball anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad keep pushing me, and uh, he say, why, why you not try again? Come back like month, month after. I hit a home run. And I, really? after that, I started like it. Aloy immersed himself in his new sport, both playing on the field and watching on his TV. Cabrera, uh, I like the way he hit, how he can hit the ball everywhere. Manny, because he was like funny person in the, in the, on the field. Davey Ortiz, the same way and Vladimir Guerrero because he hit everything. <laughs> <laughs> At 16 years old, Aloy was named baseball's top international prospect. The Chicago Cubs gave him a $2.8 million signing bonus, but his entry into professional baseball and life on his own in the United States wasn't easy. I was a kid, uh, 17, my first year in the United States, I, like away from my family and everything. And I don't get frustrated with everything. Like, if I don't hit it hard, but it's still out, I don't get frustrated. All baseball is mentally. Like, it's 90% mentally, this is sport. If you can get, like, when you have a slump or something like that, if you can control that, you, you're gonna be great. By 2016, he was living up to his considerable talent on the field. The next summer, though, everything changed the Cubs sent Aloy to the White Sox as the prized piece of a package that relocated all-star pitcher Jose Quintana to Wrigley Field. The next spring, Aloy had a chance to show his old team what it was missing. We all knew that, you know, he was traded from Chicago Cubs to the Chicago White Sox, and he had been sidelined for 10, 12 days. Hasn't played in a game. I'm not supposed to be played to the next day, and uh, I, I tell him Renteria, if he, can, if he can give me a bat against Cubs. And, and all of a sudden, Rick McRae goes, you're hitting me. And I was so emotional, I can be a stand, sit down, I don't know. I was crazy that day. Ray's front foot and turns it in. Jimenez gets a hold of this one to right center field. Jimenez leaves the ballpark. He just calmly went up to home plate and hit a home run opposite field the center. And I got chills. And you know, he, he showed his emotions at that point. He doesn't, he's pretty calm about himself, but I know that it was a great moment for him. It didn't take his AAA Charlotte Knights teammates long to learn to recognize when Aloy's at the plate. Special talent, man, that guy. I, I, mean, I was telling some of the guys last night that I haven't heard that sound off the bat. His power is impressive, but his patience at the plate is what makes him such a dangerous hitter. Aloy is more than willing to spray line drives the opposite way, taking what the pitchers give him. There's a reason he's hitting north of 325 the past three seasons combined. You know you can do all this and you want to show people, but sometimes the opposing pitcher's not allowing you to show it because you don't really have a pitch to do it with. So you just can't be in a hurry to do some things that are not available. And I think that's where his pitch selection has been very good. It seems to be a controlled aggression. White Sox fans are excited about the future, as they should be. They're a bit impatient, too, and they aren't afraid to use social media to share their opinions. But with the parent club's winning percentage under 400 this season, general manager Rick Hahn sees no reason to rush. He's moving his young prospects along slowly, not just Aloy and his AAA teammate Michael Kopech, but the young prospects in the system behind them, too. I don't like to say he's going to be good. I think mean, he's going to be great. 